Hi, I'm Ellen. In this video, I'd like to show you how simple it is to start authoring lessons. Let's start by creating a new lesson. On the admin pages, choose the course you want to create your lesson in. So here I'll select the Marine Invertebrates course. And then select Lessons on the course card. Now I'll select New to create a new lesson. The lesson opens up on a blank page. So first, let's give it a name. In the header, select this pencil icon next to your course name and give your lesson a title. I'm going to call this lesson Marine Habitats. But you can always edit this later. I can also go ahead and name this lesson page with this pencil icon. OK, this page is looking a little empty at the moment, but we can quickly add some things to make it look really slick. In the footer, you'll find most of your authoring tools. Here you can edit pages and add panels to put all your content in. There are many panel types to choose from. To add a panel, drag its icon onto the page where you want it to appear. So here I'll add a text panel. And I'll drag in a second text panel just for good measure. To edit the contents of a panel, just select the panel while it's highlighted. The rest of the page will gray out like this when you're editing a panel. And now I can add some text. Once you're finished, press Done or select the gray area outside of your panel. I can also copy and paste text from other documents, which means I can quickly bring together a bunch of material into one lesson. So in the empty text panel, I'll paste in some text from Notepad. When you're finished, select outside of the panel and admire your work. There's no need to save since all of your work is saved automatically. Text is OK, but I think we need a little bit more on this page. So let's put an image in. Go to the Panels menu again and drag on an image panel. Then select the Add Image button and locate your image file. Or you can drag in an image from your computer. You can reposition panels on the page by dragging them. The blue line will show you where it will fall into place. The panels will automatically resize when you move them, but you can adjust their size by selecting a panel and dragging its handles. Let's add another page. Select the Pages menu and add a new page. You can give your page a name, or you can add it later. Now you can see navigation arrows on the sides of the pages. These let you go back and forth between pages. Or you can also use the drop-down page menu to jump to any page in your lesson. If you want to reuse a panel from somewhere else in the lesson, select the panel you want, and then choose Copy or Cut from the Panel Edit menu, and then paste it onto the new page. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. But that's OK, because you can undo and redo actions really easily. Now that you've made your awesome lesson, you can return to the admin pages by selecting Close Lesson in the footer. And that's it. Remember that all of your work is saved automatically. This is also true if you accidentally exit the lesson. Each time you finish your editing session, a new revision will be saved. You can view and restore previous lessons by selecting Revisions in the Lessons card. And there you go. Get to it. 